Delegates from the Australia-Lebanon Chamber of Commerce and Industry, headed by Chamber President Mr. Fadi Zuki, OAM, have held their third trade mission to Lebanon. Their purpose was to inspire trade and explore areas of business cooperation between Australia and Lebanon. Why is the ALCCI so important for both Lebanon and Australia? The ALCCI plays a very important role in building a bridge of commerce between the two nations, Australia and Lebanon. And this has been proven over and over again for the last four years. It has created a fairly st strong and active activity between the two nations through an exchange of politicians, uh, business people, delegations. This trade mission has been very important for the main reason is we brought a, some new faces to Lebanon that uh, some of them haven't even been to, to the country to look at opportunities for investments but also to look at, at opportunities for investment for Australia as well. We're incredibly excited to come to Lebanon. Uh, it's my first time and we have been absolutely blown away um, by the hospitality of the local people. Monopoly Property Group, our company specialises in wealth management for international investors, particularly high net worth investors. Lebanon is a fantastic country that is growing in its economy, its people are forward thinking and we're very excited about the opportunities going forward in Lebanon. We want to try and see if we can have um, uh, talks with the various universities here in Lebanon to see whether or not there is any interest in students at those universities coming to Australia to do their medical course. And the intention is that they then return to, to Lebanon to serve disadvantaged populations within the Lebanon community. And the Australian Lebanese Chamber of Commerce, they're doing a great job. They make us so proud. It's a great visit, make us so confident about Lebanon. And we are proud to be Australian and Australia gave us every opportunity. We believe in bridges builder uh, between Australia and Lebanon. And as a, as a medical group, we are really very, very interested in this association. And we'd like to support it and uh, to enhance their action to create more uh, functioning work between Australia and Lebanon. What pushed you to join the ALCCI as a businessman? I've always been inspired by my parents and always wanted to understand a little bit more as to what motivated them, where their culture came from, their background, and really see where I came from in terms of my heritage. And the ALCCI gave me that opportunity. It also gave me the opportunity to connect with the right people um, through the network that Fatty and, and the group have formed over the last couple of years. The Chamber is, uh, to me, a greater bridge. It keeps us all, business people and professional people, in contact with the country where we live in Australia and also with our country, Lebanon, you know, that we left many years ago. For that uh, reason, um, it's so important. The LCCI has been uh, providing me with a lot of networking opportunities, has, uh, has provided me with a lot of insights into business uh, development opportunities, uh, business matching opportunities, customer insights into Lebanon. It has given me insights into connections into the right people in the right places. What pushed me to become a, a member with FADI's new organisation in, in Australia was because I had been working to promote Australia and Arab relations and I wanted to encourage more of my Lebanese friends who seem to ignore their Lebanese culture, their Lebanese tradition to actually be involved and see the beauty of Lebanon and see the opportunity that they could take up not just with the Lebanese in Lebanon but with Lebanese in other parts of the Arab world. So uh, 
as an ALCCI member originally from this area, what does Alay, this beautiful city of Alay, have to offer? Alay is uh, uh, one of the major cities in tourism and uh, also in a lot of other industries. So um, I'm sure there's a lot of uh, um, industries and uh, fields that we can uh, uh, cooperate and uh, stimulate the business between the two countries. During the Ale trip, uh, you mentioned the creation of a sister city uh, to Ale in Australia. Can you tell us more about this? Sister city is basically getting a, um, say, a city like Ale or Zouk in Lebanon or even Beirut to sign an MOU with a city in Australia that share the same values from sports, the youth, education, environment, and then again they can change ideas and work, collaborate together for the benefit of both cities. So when we go back home, we will be talking to two major cities that have a similar type of, uh, as I said, um, philosophies in operating their, their local community. And more importantly as well is looking at um, uh, areas in Australia where they have a significant level of Lebanese uh, uh, you know, population, if you like, or, or people of Lebanese background. As part of their efforts to strengthen economic ties between Lebanon and Australia, ALCCI delegates visited their counterparts at the Chamber of Commerce of Tripoli and the North, as well as members of other business associations with whom they had signed memorandums of understanding. Lebanon al Mukim and Lebanon al Muhtarib على تواصل دائم. وعم نحاول نحن انه ان كانوا اللبنانيين المقيمين او اللبنانيين الاستراليين عم نحاول نفعل الدور لما في مصلحه استراليا ومصلحه لبنان ولكن بما انه اليوم نحن عم نستقبل وفد لبناني استرالي فمنقول انه نحن حتى يلي منا مقيمين باستراليا من كن لاستراليا حكومه وشعبا تقدير واكبار ومنحسها انه هي وطننا الثاني قد ما بنعرف قديش الحكومه الاستراليه والشعب الاسترالي بحب الشعب اللبناني. Since the, uh, the MOU we have sent a, a lot of uh, delegates to Tripoli and that actually utilize the Tripoli chamber for directions, for assistance, for consulting and also they use even the premises as actually for meetings and they came back actually absolutely um, uh, in awe of the support they received from the chamber here. Amongst all countries, why are you so attached to Australia? Why did you choose to open branches of Bank of Beirut in Australia? It's too late now to ask me such a question. You should have asked it before. We are too much involved now. <laughs> Half of our heart is in Australia. Fadi is a good friend and all the members uh, that uh, are uh, with Fadi and the LCCI are good friends of ours. So we have a, an individual and a common interest with Fadi in the LCCI. I think it will be a very good uh, step to work together because, you know, we believe that all the uh, Lebanese li who lives in uh, Australia, they need uh, to be communicated with the Lebanese people in Lebanon. And it's, that's what our goal in this thing. Important Lebanese political figures also offered their full support to ALCCI members and vowed to facilitate business opportunities between both countries. أنا بعتز إن اليوم عم بقابل عم استقبل شباب من غرفة التجارة اللبنانية الأسترالية وأنا بقول لهم إنه بلدهم بعده محط أنظار العالم اقتصاديا وحضاريا وسياسيا كل الأمور اللي أثرنا فيها بدأت تتصلح لأنه خلص العبر اتخذت وصار عندنا سئة أكتر نحنا بلبنان أنا اللبناني صار عندي سئة أكتر بالكيان اللبناني مش إنه بهز سعة الكيان ما بهز هذا الكيان وبطلب من غرفة التجارة تكون هي رسول طبعا لبنان وهني بشروا إنه نحنا مقبلين على هالفقرة الحقبة النمو الاقتصادي
I think uh, it is only natural for Lebanon to to always uh, try to bring back its diaspora to Lebanon, and I think Lebanon has all the potential to do so. Uh, so, uh, inshallah, with this meeting, with everyone here, it's just an encouragement to, to push them to come back here to Lebanon, invest, and I hope they do. I think uh, it should be, Lebanese should come here and we should also invest in Australia. This is something that will benefit both countries. Are you planning to go to Australia yourself? Definitely. definitely. The uh, Australian Lebanese uh, Association is one of the biggest association that is doing its best to uh, uh, enhance and develop more the trade between both countries. And we wish success also to the organization as this, this Chamber of Commerce is indeed very active and very energetic and uh, it represents really well the image of the Lebanese uh, we'd like to have everywhere in the world. Having met with all these responsible people in this country, I found out that Lebanon is not doing that badly, and I found out that Lebanon's future is very prosperous and very promising, and, and it's a perfect timing to invest today more than ever, because everything at the moment is stagnant, and it's not premium, and ultimately it's gonna go up. Is that اللبنانية أرض لاقطة جاذبة عطشة لأبنائها المنتشرين. This year again, ALCCI delegates attended the Lebanese Diaspora Energy Conference. Held under the patronage of Foreign Minister Jibran Basile, this unique event has become an annual ritual celebrating the success of eminent figures of Lebanese origin. وأشعر بالفخر. عندما أسمع قصص نجاحاتكم وهي نجاحات للوطن. The LDE 2016 featured a special panel for Australia involving ALCCI members entitled Embracing Potentials in Australia. Can you tell me why is uh, the LDE, especially this year, uh, so important for the ALCCI to participate in? In Australia, it's very far for the people, they love Australia, but they don't go there. So we want, we want to show uh, how nice is Australia, how uh, big opportunities are in Australia. So uh, to direct the Lebanese immigrants to go and invest in, in Australia with the help of the Lebanese immigrants who are in Australia, they can be uh, uh, door openers for, uh, for uh, the Lebanese in all over the world. I think having the panel was, was a great idea and a great initiative by the Foreign Ministry because it reflects the, the strength and the depth of the relationship. Now, as we say, we, we've got almost half a million Australian Lebanese and so I think we, a, we deserve one but it's so important to try and build the trade relationship and that's what this is trying to do is build on those links that are already there to put value into it. I'd like to know what your opinion is about uh, the investment potential between Australia and Lebanon. Well, it's interesting. I mean, you have to look at where there's complementary uh, trade relations. And one would be because of what we've seen in Australia for the last 10 years is in energy. And you have proven reserves in natural gas, in particular in oil, in the eastern Mediterranean. Uh, so you could see a natural partnership would be in energy investment. So I think what is important uh, for Lebanon because of the dislocation in the broader region and particularly next door in Syria is that to get the politics right but while the politics are getting sorted outside Lebanon is to get the investment climate right. This historic session witnessed the launching of the International Chamber House and the signing of the Declaration of Intent. The initiative put forward by ALCCI President Mr. Fadi Zuki OEM is an official part of the government agenda.
I have put together an idea to our minister and that is to try and launch an international chamber house in Lebanon. What I felt is that in order for a diaspora to come back to Lebanon, if you want the chambers of commerce from around the world to come here and become proactive in the Lebanese economy, you must give them a residence. And this is where the idea stems from. We study a way to join our efforts uh, between all the Lebanese uh, in the continents worldwide to try to find a solution for our country here in Lebanon what we can provide to this country. I think today it's uh, a really uh, historical day for us. I think this is a great initiative uh, because what Lebanon needs is that uh, making it easy to do business here and that's what this sets up. It means people can come here, they've got established networks, established linkages between the, the chambers of commerce in various countries and we're not just talking about Lebanon, we're talking about all the countries where the Lebanese diaspora is represented. We all need each other around the world. We buy from countries that need us, they buy from us, we buy from them. When you get to meet them all, it's like we all became one champion now, not Australia, Brazil, America, Lebanon. We're all one now, we're all connected, and uh, through this uh, event, you can always gain. More than just aiming to boost economic ties between Australia and Lebanon, the ALCCI values the historical relationship between both countries. In this context, Delegates paid a visit to the 267 Australian diggers buried at the Commonwealth War Graves Cemetery in Beirut. What's the importance for the ALCCI to be here today? It's important for the ALCCI to first and foremost to show the rest of the delegations that the Australian soldiers did come to Lebanon. The Australian soldiers did sacrifice their lives for this country to have liberty. And what we note as well among the diggers is a, uh, a digger who came from a Lebanese background who was part of the Australian army. This says a lot to me. It says that the Australian army did take on soldiers from all backgrounds and all religions. They never discriminated. I think it's important for, for all Australians who are visiting Lebanon to, to have come and visit the, the War Graves Cemetery here. Um, the Lebanon campaign is little known back in Australia, but actually it was a major campaign um, and one of the first involvements of Australian troops in the Second World War. And it was quite significant at the, at the time in, in coming through into Lebanon and liberating Lebanon from the, from the Vichy French. But when you walk through these immaculate gardens, it gives you a real sense of the sacrifices that people made. But also we went down to the Dog River and I took Ben there and we saw a plaque there that says that 1941 the Australian soldiers captured Damur on the south, southern coast of Lebanon and also the Australian, the, the Indian and the French captured Damascus and what really struck me is they did all this for the freedom of Lebanon and Syria. Ultimately, and beyond their business ambitions, ALCCI members are all united by their love for both Lebanon and Australia. As an artist based in Lebanon, and you've been to Australia almost a couple years ago, how did the ALCCI promote you? Well, uh, it was a wonderful experience. First, it was a pleasure to discover Australia for the first time. It was my first trip there. And it was a big privilege for me to perform at the Sydney Opera House. And uh, this is why I'm very grateful to the ALCCI and especially its president, Mr. Fadi Zoui. I wouldn't have dreamed to connecting with so many wonderful people, you know, in my life. And, um, and I look forward to coming back. I call on all the immigrants all over the world in Canada, Australia, United States and Europe to come back and reinvest in Lebanon. It's our duty now to reinvest in our homeland and uh, to create opportunity for the people who are in need. We have to share what we learn from our experience abroad with our people here. Fadi Zoui, Zahira Lubmini, in the I hope 
أبناء رجالي اللبنانية الكل يوقف ورا نتمنى على المسؤولين الاقتصاديين في في لبنان أن يفتحوا أكبر الطرق أمام الجسر الاقتصادي اللي عم بيحاول يبني في هذه الزوء بين أستراليا ولبنان Tanya, would you go back to Australia? I'd love to. <laughs> I, I've loved, I, I really loved it. Uh, it's a very beautiful country. People are so sweet. I would encourage all Lebanese people, and all people for that matter, uh, to come to Lebanon. This is a beautiful country with beautiful people. Uh, this has far exceeded my expectations, uh, and I will definitely be coming back to Lebanon.